Okay, Stephen McNeil, thanks so much for speaking to me this evening. I really appreciate that. No problem, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, great, 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 great. Uh, beautiful day. What can I say in Cape Breton Island? Alba, where you're at? It's a gorgeous day. It's been a gorgeous week. Oh, absolutely. So, um, what can I say? You know, I mean, you did a lot for uh, Haley Street, which very much and greatly appreciate. You know, what can I say? You know, during that uh, terrible fire that we had, I mean, you came you came through for us, Stephen. What can I say? Well, it was it was unimaginable to think what happened that someone would uh, first of all create that kind of destruction. But uh, when I was there, I saw how important. Haley Street was uh, not only to the community of uh, North Sydney, but really, more importantly, uh, to those who go there and call it, go there to go to work and contribute to, to the community. So it was, uh, we were just a small part of it, and we were thrilled to be part of it. But I, you know, what's amazing what happens when community comes together, uh, because what an extraordinary uh, grand opening that was happening there, and it was just a magnificent looking uh, facility. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So I guess my first question would be is, what is your proudest uh, accomplishment as Premier? Well, I thought we were just going to have an easy conversation. Now you're giving me all kinds of tough questions. <laughs> well, I, I, I think uh, the investments uh, that we made in, in Haley Street and other uh, workshops across the province that are uh, uh, that you, we see have changed lives in many ways. Uh, the uh, bill that we introduced where uh, people become uh, organ donors, presumed organ donors, uh, was an important one. I think it provides hope to people uh, who are waiting on wait lists across the province around for organ donation. Uh, and I was very proud of the fact that we saw more of our sons and daughters live and stay and work in Nova Scotia. And those were all big important pieces and if you tie them all together what it's about is about how do we looking after one another how are we best providing an opportunity for everyone uh to contribute to our province and in a healthy way and that's really what we tried to do oh absolutely do you ever miss being the premier i do uh, i i loved every day of it and i miss uh i miss the job but i'm glad i left if that makes sense uh it was time but i loved every day of it including the last day Ah, oh, fantastic. Now that you aren't as busy, what's been your favorite pastime or hobby? Well, listen, I, uh, I, I, I played a bit of golf, not, not as much as I thought I was going to, but I, my game is no better. Uh, I am working still. I'm working for a, a law firm called Cox & Palmer doing business development, uh, which I'm enjoying. And I built a little bunk house in behind my house in a little shop that I had. I Build a set of two sets of bunk beds, and uh, I think uh, this not this weekend, next weekend, there will be lots of little people running around my property, so they'll get a chance to use them. <laughs> oh, fantastic, fantastic! I would like to thank you for your tremendous leadership, especially during the COVID 19 pandemic, and with uh, Dr. Strang, of course. Well, Dr. Strang uh, was really a great voice, not only for us, but really for us. And I was happy to be to be with him. We worked hard together, and I had a great team. Uh, uh, as you know, the day that I was down uh, at Haley Street, I mentioned about the team uh, that were with me, and I think it's still. I always try to mention uh, the great group of people that had working on behalf of Nova Scotians who were supporting me, from our chief of staff, Lori Graham, uh, through uh, everyone who was working in the office. Uh, it was. Uh, really, a, 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 it was an unprecedented time, uh, and I'm grateful I had a chance to be there with uh, Dr. Strang and our team uh, to help our, find our way through it as a, as a province. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And that saying that you had, stay the place <laughs> is home, I mean, my, my goodness. I mean, I have to say, Stephen, with all respect, where did you come up with a good phrase like that? That is fantastic. Well, you got a Cape Breton audience listening to you, so they will know exactly where I got that from. That came from one of their own. So Lori Graham is a Cape Bretoner who came down to my office and said, we were worried about people not listening to us. And they hadn't been for a bit. And we were getting a bit frustrated. She, says, she said, would you say this? 
Mm-hmm. And I, I must admit, I colored, I, I made it a little more colorful, but uh, 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 I said, of course I would. And we delivered it. So there were, they were her words and the words of the team that were down helping uh, put the message together. And, and I just communicated their words. I was the face of their words. Uh, I should get a better face for the. <laughs> you, you, sir, you certainly were the face of their words and fantastic. What can I say? I, and once again, I want to thank you for what you have done for Haley Street. And I'm sure in a way I kind of speak for Haley Street clients and staff at the, as well. Um, which I'm sure they'll be watching this uh, great interview later on. But I mean, you and your team, my goodness. I mean, you really pulled through for us, Stephen. Well, we worked with you. And I want to, you know, Jack, cool. Thank your staff that work uh, with you at Haley Street and really all across Nova Scotia in uh, in workshops across the province. I want to thank them for uh, making our community way more inclusive. Uh, I'm blown away every time I go to a facility. I was blown away uh, when I was in North Sydney at Haley Street in the in the grand opening uh, to watch the love and support between those who work there. And it's and you know I feel someone in some ways they don't work there; they live there too. It's their passion, uh, oh. and they love supporting community and and the clients who people who come there to work and it's where they go every day and their passion. Of, of, of being there it's it's contagious and I I was just honored to be part of it and to be honest with you we as a government were uh, honored to be able to help support uh, and provide hope again and I go back to the word hope uh, to help provide hope uh, for what a better future would look like and you know what happened uh, Jack Cool the way the community surrounded it the, the contractor who came in and put his effort in there and did work for free at times and we oh, yeah. you saw the way that many other members rallied around and the way the participants worked hard and staff who were showing up and doing work. And that's what really what it was. That's what made Haley Street, the new version of Haley Street is what it is today. And we were just a small part of it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But thank you all the same. And I'm sure that people are going to be listening to this interview are going to be saying thank you as well. Um, What got you into politics? Jack, you're gonna, you're like a real you're like a real uh, interviewer. You just ask the same question over three times. See if I give you a different answer. <laughs> you haven't asked that, but you haven't asked this question. Oh, okay, you know what good. I wanted to help. I wanted to help the community I live in. I live okay. in a small little community in in Upper Granville, um, just in Annapolis County, and I thought I could go there and help make it a better community. I had no aspirations to ever be the leader of the party or the premier. All of that happened. Uh, uh, in many ways by accident, uh, but I was honored and thrilled and grateful, to be honest with you, that I had a chance to lead uh, the party and, and to become the premier of the province. Uh, it's a gift, and uh, and I'm grateful for that opportunity, and I hope people feel that uh, in my journey I, I made a positive impact and helped change the lives of, uh, of them. Oh, I think so, too. I think so, too. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, it doesn't take much to help people out, you know, and, you know, you did the good, you did the right thing as far as I'm concerned. Well, thanks. You're, you're too kind. Ah, not a problem. Not a problem. So uh, you like golf, uh, you were stating. So um, how yes. many holes can you do? How many what? How many holes can you do in golf? Like, are you? Oh, uh, let's. I no no I'm not like these people who golf 18 holes and then do another thir- another 18 for 36. No, I do 18 okay. holes and then I do 18 and then I'm and then I'm good. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, I take I like to go if I can get out once or twice a week, I'm doing good. Oh, that's fantastic! You're also um, someone told me yesterday when they found out I was going to be interviewing you today. They said, "Ask him about Cape Breton Special Olympics." Um, you're, you're a strong well, supporter of that, right? I'm a big supporter of Cape Breton Special Olympics and Special Olympics across the province. I think it's, uh, one of the greatest organizations that has ever been founded. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is, it shows, the, it shows the true essence of sport. Uh, it shows the true essence of humanity, uh, the way competitors, react to one another uh they treat one another with such kindness and, and i i um am I, i'm a big fan of it and i can do, do whatever i can to help 
Yesterday, I happened to be in Lawrencetown, Annapolis County, where the Musical Ride was doing a show for uh, the Nova Scotia People First organization, uh, which I was uh, thrilled to be at and take the salute from the, from the officers. And uh, But yeah, it's a, a Special Olympics in Cape Breton, Special Olympics. There's a, a magnificent ballpark that we were helped part of uh, uh, the abilities ballpark uh, for baseball, for everyone of all different abilities uh, that we were thrilled to be part of and help support. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's, it's it, Special Olympics, just it's, it's the truest sense of uh, all of us finding our place and being part of it uh, and being happy uh, that we're allowed to participate and we're happy for everyone's success. Oh, absolutely. I've been involved with Cape Breton Special Olympics since uh, 94. So that's what, that's uh, almost 20 years ago. So, yeah. What are your events? What do you do? I'm a bowler. Now, when I first started, right. I was a bowler and then I was a baseball player. Now I'm back to being bowling again. So I rather the bowling. I mean, I, I really enjoy what that. What about bocce? You ever played bocce? Uh, yeah, I played bocce, but not for Special Olympics. But I have played the game bocce before, though. Okay, it's it's yeah. got it's kind of fun. What can I say? And you get it's together good. for a weekend that's pretty brief, but you get to socialize. You know, get to hang out with good friends. You know, so hey, what more do you ask for? A little participation and 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 hanging out with good friends and fun. What more can you ask for? Exactly, exactly. Well, Stephen McNeil, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me on this lovely Monday evening. And what can I say? Thank you again for what you did for us and all the best to you, man, in the near future. All the best, Jack Cole. I look forward to seeing all of you guys at Haley Street at some time in the future. Take care. Definitely. Take care.